Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome to gym vlog number four. Today is my active recovery day. So I think a lot of people get confused when it really comes to your recovery days. You're like, what am I supposed to do? It's my rest day. And I feel like for like the general population, if not injured, just a little sore, a little tired, it could be beneficial to be a little bit active when you're on your recovery day. A lot of evidence points towards getting your blood circulating is actually going to promote more recovery than actually doing nothing and sitting in bed all day. And that could be, you know, don't, you don't got to go to the gym for that. That could be doing meal prep, reading, meditation, yoga. What I'm here today is to work on a couple of my weak points. I'm at the gym right now. I just got out of school. So one of my weak points definitely is my hip mobility. I cannot squat very low. And especially heavy, it's very difficult. So what I'm here today is going to work on my hip mobility a lot. It's going to be the main focus. Another thing I'm going to work on is my shoulder mobility. My shoulders are very tight, so I definitely want to work on opening those up and also my rotator cuffs. I don't show them enough love. But yeah, that's what I'm here to do. Really calm day. Not going to do nothing crazy. But yeah, I'll see y'all when I get in there. All right, I'm going to start off with the hip mobility because that's my weak point. So I just have the bar like a little bit below my hip. I used to do this in crack, I'm pretty sure, but definitely opens up your hips. Y'all, we are back. I just finished the first hip mobility exercise. We're on to the second one. So for the second one, what you're gonna wanna do is put your hands behind you, your knees up, and we're just lowering our legs side to side. Ooh, as you can already see, it's already hard for me to go all the way down. It just proves how like tight my hips really are. But in the long run, this is gonna help me because I run a lot, so I need open hips to have good form and not to be injury prone. Also, when I squat so I can get a deeper range of motion and get the actual full benefits from squatting. So, as I do these more over time, it'll start to hurt less and I'll be able to go down more with ease. But it's better to do it now than when I get injured. So, not even complaining. But I would honestly stay around the 5 to 8 rep range like we did for the last exercise. Right? Yeah, we did. And then we're going to do two sets of these. And then we're going to move on. What I want to do is I want to practice like my, my deaf squatting. So I'm going to hop on the Smith machine. And I'm just going to practice getting a little bit more deaf than I usually do. And yeah, or I might do it with actual bar, but I don't know yet. We'll see. But yeah, I'm about to do one more set of these. And then I'm going to move on to the next workout. This is more of like an angle with the Smith machine. I'm going to obviously have to place my feet a little bit forward. But I'm going to start off with a little calm plate and just see how that really moves. That actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I basically got to my feet, which is much better than I've <laughs> really ever done. I really want to keep it light though. So I'm probably gonna add like 25 T side and then probably do like a little pause at the bottom. And that's really it for this. Okay, that was good. I'm happy with that. Our next leg day, I wanna try to focus more on like the depth with actual barbell squat, then go heavy. So 
when we get to the leg day, I'll probably also go light so we can for focus more on our form and then progress heavier so we don't injure ourselves in the future and also so we can get a deeper squat because I'll get more benefits that way anyway. That's really all I got for, for hips. Besides one thing I always do when I start my squats, it's more of like a dynamic stretch. Bring my leg back and forth to my hip. I can already feel my hip popping. But I could definitely feel my hips more open because of like the workout I just did. And then next thing on the list we got, um, oh yeah, shoulders. I need to work on my shoulder mobility. So I'll also show y'all what I do for that. That definitely I need to work on so I don't hurt myself. When I bench my shoulder day, it, it kind of incorporates a lot of my days because a lot of the exercises, I do our compound movements and I'm using my shoulders. So I'm gonna show you what I do that's been helping me out. All right, my shoulder mobility exercise is a little bit more simple. I usually just use uh, resistance bands for this. I'm doing something called shoulder dislocations. Uh, people usually use like a bar for this, but my shoulder mobility is honestly pretty bad, so I haven't wor been worried about like investing in it yet. But basically, I'm gonna bring the band in front of me, bring it below tension, and then bring it all the way behind me, and then all the way back. And you can stay around the same rep range for this. I'll do closer to eight reps though, and do like two sets. But it really opens up your shoulders. A lot of people do this even before they bench, just to open up their shoulders on purpose. But yeah, I got one more set, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Next thing I do, and it's better to do this by like a bench or something that you could like hook onto if you're using resistance bands, is you're gonna hook the resistance band around like whatever you're using. A little loop right there, just hold onto it. And then since this set I have came with a D handle, I'm gonna put a D handle on the top of this resistance band. And this is gonna work on my rotator cuffs. Basically, I'm gonna take a step back so I get some resistance. And I'm gonna pull it out. And let me get it by the angle for y'all so you can see exactly what I'm doing. I'm keeping my arm at like a 90 ish degree angle and I'm just rotating my arm out to my side. I'm not pulling it, I'm just, my arm's here, I'm rotating it out. I'm rotating it out. I'm rotating it out. And obviously the further you step, you'll get more resistance, but you can also use a heavier resistance band. And I'm just going to do eight, eight reps for two sets with each arm. So I'm going to move on to my, now I'm going to move on to my right arm. Now we're keeping our arms tight. We're just moving the arm out. And you don't got to start off heavy. You know, I'm, my resistance band is literally 10 pounds right now. I probably do more than this, but I'm just working on the eccentric motion right now, just keeping it really slow tempo. And not worried about going heavy because I'm just trying to recover today and just train these. You know, these are a lot of like the neglected muscles, especially for like common gym goers. So it's important that we start emphasizing that we use them. This is an important muscle on our shoulder. I believe it's somewhere like right here. And it plays more into a part in like our shoulder health than we actually think it does. So I'm going to probably do one more set of those and I'm going to work on some stretches and then I'm going to hop on the massage chair then we're out of here. Alright guys, I'm back in the whip. But that was a pretty good session though. I felt like that went pretty good. I feel 
that they recovered, which obviously is the goal. So, I think that means I accomplished what I came here for. I'm just dreaming about all the food I'm going to make. But, really good session. Shoulders feel better, my hips feel better. So, looking forward to my next session, seeing how my squat will improve. And maybe even my bench with my shoulders feeling better progressively over time. This isn't like a one-time thing. So, I don't know. But I think I decided that I'm going to talk about the Bible a little bit and maybe do a little Bible study in here. But I'm going to put a little fun twist on it. So... I think that's going to be exciting. So if you guys want to watch that, then definitely stay tuned. I feel like especially for, like, I haven't even read the whole Bible, so I feel like especially for maybe even newcomers, people who are thinking about endeavoring more into, like, their faith, that, you know, it could be helpful for them to have, uh, like, some background information or, like, help reading it. Like, you don't have to read it. You know, I got you, I got you, I got you. Even though I'm not that very well-versed in the Bible, that, you know, we could even, like, go through this together. You know, you might see something that I don't, and I might see something that you don't, and then we'll be like, oh, I didn't think about it that way. So I feel like this could be, like, beneficial for both me and, like, whoever is interested in watching that, you know? Even if you're curious about the Bible, like, listen, this is open to everyone. If you're interested in learning, then that's okay. You know, even if, even if you're atheist, agnostic, like any other form of religion, you know. My channel is like an open space to talk about things. I don't want to get into full-blown arguments, obviously, but if y'all want to have a conversation, like whatever you believe in or you're interested in or have any questions, then, you know, I'm always here with an open ear and always with an open mind to hear stuff out, you know. That's exactly how you learn. As I endeavor in my faith and read the Bible more, I think that looking at the Bible as a reference of how to even approach my life is a good thing for example like how i even read the bible you know with the bible a lot of stuff you can't read just the words you have to a lot of stuff can mean different things metaphorically and a whole bunch of stuff like that so you really have to ask yourself what does this mean so in life when something happens to you you know instead of like complaining about it or being sad or being happy you could take it as like why is god letting this happen and what could i learn from it so even approaching the Bible can show you how to live a certain way in life. But it's all about like how you think of it and your perspective. If you're closed-minded, you're not you're never going to learn anything with the Bible or even in life. You have to have an open mind to things if you genuinely want to learn. And that was like the biggest and that was like the biggest like obstacle for me in life when it came to like why things happened, why I was upset. And even reading the Bible, like, it didn't make sense to me. But now so much more of life makes sense to me because of the different ways I look at it now. You know, worrying about controlling things that you can't control and not worrying about things you can't is so important to living, like, a happy life. Like, I can't even express how important it is. If I worried all the time about stuff I can't control, I would never be happy. But I have to worry about stuff that I can't control and things that I can't change. If I get a bad grade on something, I could always improve by getting a better grade than the next one and trying harder. If I just soak about what I got in the past, then I'm not going to get anywhere. You know, and the same thing applies for like workouts, lives, breakups. You could apply almost anything to that. You can even relate that to even being happy about the things you got. You know, that's why I like J. Cole's song, Love Yours, because it talks so much about being appreciative of what you have. You know, if you worried your life being envious and jealous of what other people have that you don't, then you would never be happy. All right, guys, I just got home. It's snowing. I don't know if you guys could tell back there. Hold on. Uh, maybe. But, yeah, it's snowing. So, luckily, I got home just in time. I'm going to go make myself something to eat, do some work, edit some videos, hopefully take a nap. But, anyways, hope y'all enjoyed. Hopefully, my mic sounded better this time. Hopefully, please. But, don't forget to like comment you know leave me some feedback let me know how the video was share subscribe remember guys don't follow me follow god love y'all god bless have a good day i'll see y'all